What is up everybody, this is your boy is Nefarious and I am here with another edition of Gold Rush. As I said, this is going to be the overall season review. Uh, we're we're going to jump into it real quick as you can see on our screen. First, we're going to go through every game this season, take a quick look at it. At it. As you can see, we started off the season pretty good here um, as we beat the Atlanta Falcons. Jimmy Garoppolo had three touchdowns, four interceptions. Uh, the running game was non-existent. We didn't have Monster. We had Ty Chandler though. Uh, he had 30 yards and a touchdown. Um, nobody really crazy on the receiving end, um, but we were able to come out with a win there. Uh, take a look at the box score. We ended up scoring 14 in the fourth to come out with a win. Uh, maybe a big interception. As you can see, we won. The, um, they won a turnover battle. As they only had three turnovers to off four, um, they had the third down conversions, time of position, and everything. But we were able to come out with a win, so huge win to start off one and zero. Then we faced the Seattle Seahawks um, in that first game too. We lost uh, George Kittle on an injury, uh, if you don't remember. But on this game, Jimmy Garoppolo was a lot better. Um, didn't have much throwing to do. Ten completions of 17 attempts. And then Ty Chandler was an absolute monster. 30 attempts, 237 yards, and two touchdowns. So he was the big man there. Uh, we ended up coming back and winning that game. So 2-0, we're feeling good. And then we run into the Cardinals, uh, a team that we think we could uh, beat, beat if we, uh, we play our game. Uh, this game we lost by 7, as you can see. Uh, Kyler Murray was near perfect. Uh, 190 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. Uh, 19 for 25 and then Jimmy Garoppolo had the three interceptions and three touchdowns so not a good game from him um, and then Ty Chandler uh, the running game wasn't there uh, Naheem Hines though had a great game uh, 126 yards and three touchdowns so as you can see he had a few guys John V. Johnson was nasty for us in that game four receptions 162 yards and two touchdowns so um, we weren't able to come up with a win uh, in this one the Cardinals this is the first loss that we received from the Cardinals close game uh, but I think that was just based on what I did in the fourth to make it close I think uh, it was a game that was well in hand for the Cardinals and we take a look at the Jaguars we lost um, we ended up getting a win for this but this was a disconnect uh, issue um, we were going into the fourth we were down I believe 10 uh, getting the ball back with under three minutes to go or under four minutes to go we had all our timeouts we had all that uh, but it was going to be a long way to go for, uh, for you know, a tie or a win. So uh, we ended up disconnecting in that game. And then we replayed it. Uh, we only played the half. And as you can see, um, it was 14-7. We needed 12 points. He ended up scoring a touchdown and ended up winning this game. Uh, this one's kind of confusing, but he should have won this game. But he left the, the game instead of closing the half. So we weren't able to give the force win to him. Well, the uh, commissioners weren't able to give the force win to him. So actually, we are, uh, if we're being honest, we are 2-2 two and two at this point. And then we run into the Cowboys, who are an absolute juggernaut. As you can see, they pretty much handed us, handed us our lunch in this game. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo had 348 yards, 2 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Uh, Dak Prescott didn't need to throw the ball much. 140 yards, 2 touchdowns, 1 interception. Um, as you can see, 10 for 15, he didn't have to throw the ball at all. Zeke Elliott had 16 carries, 137 yards and a touchdown. And then even his rookie got involved with 52 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Ty Chandler had a pretty decent game. Uh, he had 41 yards and a touchdown. So a pretty decent game from him. Uh, Mike Williams had a showing out. Uh, he had eight receptions for 138 yards. And then Debo had 128 of his own. Uh, we were definitely playing from behind most of the game. So... Um, that's kind of why you see the receiving numbers like that. So right now, if we're being honest, we're two and three on the season. Um, and then we run into the Rams. This we don't play. This is actually a fourth one, so we won't talk about that. So now we're three and three on the season. Then we run into the Packers. Uh, three and three. This is one of those games where we needed to win. Uh, the Packers aren't a good user. Um, and we showed that we are terrible. Jimmy Garoppolo had one touchdown and five interceptions. I don't know what was going on in this game, um, but 
Uh, Ty Chandler ran the ball pretty easy. Uh, Aaron Jones had 148 yards and a touchdown. I mean, this game should have been... Uh, this game, we definitely should have won, especially if we were running, that, running the ball that easy. Don't know what led us to passing the ball and giving up four interceptions, but as you can see, Devontae Adams got his own as well with four uh, receptions for 165 yards and two touchdowns. And then we finally got George Kittle back in this game, so um, maybe it was wanting to use George Kittle. I don't, I don't know exactly what the situation was there uh, going up against the Rams. I mean, uh, the Packers, but we threw the ball way too much, had five interceptions, and we're not going to win like uh, win a game like that. And speaking of interceptions, this was a shit bowl. Um, we played the Seattle Seahawks. As you can see, both quarterbacks combined for 14 interceptions. I had nine of my own, and then the uh, Seattle Seahawks' Russell Wilson had five of his own. Uh, with the way we were playing either team, it was it ended up being close. Uh, no, 36-19. Uh, it didn't end up being close because I ended up throwing a lot of interceptions in the second half. And you can see that in the box score as we got uh, 16 in the third, 17 in the fourth. We, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened here. I actually was nervous to throw the ball. It was the first time I was nervous to throw the ball in a while. It might have had something to do with the Green Bay game, but I was rattled for sure when it came to throwing the ball. Um, Ty Chandler had 72 yards in the touchdown. As you can see, he played a lot better against the run. Uh, we did not. Rashad Penny got loose a little bit. Uh, he had Metcalf who got uh, his own as well. And then uh, Mike Williams was able to find the end zone. Uh, but that was a game where we, we could have won um, just based on how bad the Seattle Seahawks were playing. But we were playing even worse at that time. And then it led into week... Um, what week is this? This is week... It led into week 9 right before a bye. We needed a bye at this point. Um, but we did not get it. And then another horrible game from Jimmy Garoppolo. 201 yards and 9 interceptions. Uh, pretty much the same thing as last game. And we ran it pretty well. Uh, we didn't probably didn't have to throw that much. But... I think we might have got down pretty early on a couple uh, bad interceptions, and that's why we had to go away from the run. George Kittle had a good game. John Ray Johnson had a decent game. Um, but, yeah, you're not going to win many games if you're throwing five-plus interceptions in back-to-back-to-back games. So, uh, three games in a row where we absolutely was handing the ball to the other team. The bye week came along. Uh, we, we collected ourselves, and we had a decent game against the Titans. I uh, think he pulled away, uh, well he, he pretty much had it in hand, uh, it was 21 to 25, it was actually 25 21 after the third, then he scored 14 on the entered points in the fourth, uh, four interceptions once again from Jimmy Garoppolo, I remember this game I wanted to stay away from throwing interceptions and even when I'm doing so I'm throwing four and Aaron Rodgers had three touchdowns and one interception, then you take a look at the rushing, uh, Derrick Henry uh, had a good game, almost six yards of carry. So did Ty Chandler, but we got away from the run. Uh, we, Raheem Mostert actually got more carries. He had a touchdown, though. Um, I think this is the first week for Raheem, Raheem Mostert back in the lineup, too. So he had a pretty good game coming back in the lineup. Uh, John Bay Johnson, another good game. Uh, he's been an unsung guy throughout the season. As you can see early on in the season, he had a bunch of good games. Uh, so we lose there, and then we have another really good user in uh, Fallen, who's the Texans user. We end up actually winning this, and we, it was night and day. Uh, my, me passing ball was night and day. Uh, you could see 158.3 passer rating. I believe that's perfect. 350 yards, 5 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. And then Deshaun Watson had 2 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, 472 yards. So completely opposite of what we were a few weeks ago this was actually after i started labbing with um the titans user so shout out to bubba he um he's the titans user and he's uh he actually you know labbed with me a little bit got me got my offense moving better got me a little more comfortable in my offense a little more comfortable throwing the ball uh told me a few things that i should pay attention to when when it comes to throwing the ball but a uh, great game great bounce by, back game and then uh ty chandler had 127 yards and a touchdown we didn't have to run much 
Um, we ended up passing a lot from what it's looking like. Yeah, no, only 18 attempts. I guess a lot of big, big one, uh, one play scores there. Uh, Monster only had 18 yards. Uh, Debo Samuel ran the ball a little bit. And then you can see uh, Will Fuller absolutely went off. He had a touchdown and 170 yards. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the big stats. Debo had 83 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Mike Williams was able to get a one play score. So a good week. A good week overall for us as we get a huge win. Uh, really turning around our season at the right time um, to give us a run towards the end. So after, let's let's look back. So we're two and two, actually two and three. Then we're three and three, uh, three and four, three and five, three and three and six. We drop to uh, three and seven. Then we're four and seven after uh, after the game against the, te uh, the Texans. Maybe it's a little too late for our season, but. You know, you know how we ended up. We ended up, you know, pulling together some wins. This is one, one of the wins here. Four interceptions by uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, but we're still able to win. Really gonna work on that this offseason. The interceptions are becoming too much. Uh, Ty Chandler got a couple of touchdowns. Monster was able to find some space. Mike Williams had a really good game, and Paris Campbell was a story for the Colts. He had two touchdowns. We were able to bottle up uh, Jonathan Taylor, who only had 89 yards. So a, a great game there for the defense, uh, keeping us in it, and we're able to come out with a win, 28 to 17. Uh, then we run into the Rams, who actually have a good user now. Um, yeah, people say he was probably throwing, and I kind of agree. He probably was not trying to win towards the end of the season, not really tanking, but getting comfortable with the team and not really trying his all to win and showing his cards. He doesn't have a, he didn't have a good record coming in. He was 0 and uh, the Rams were already 0 and 8 or 0 and 9. So he had no shot of making the playoffs. So he pretty much just said, you know what, we're just gonna do what we gotta do. And uh, we had a decent game, 272 yards, three interceptions though. Another game with a bunch of interceptions for Jimmy Garoppolo, and then 308 yards from Kellen Mond, two, uh, two touchdowns, one interception. So he had a good game. Uh, then you take a look at the running game. Uh, Monster had over six yards of carry for two touchdowns, and then Ty Chandler also had uh, two touchdowns on 90 yards. So our running game was really, really good in this. In this, and John Ray Johnson had a solid game once again. Um, then you take a look at the. Uh, game against the Vikings. This is this is one of them where um, kind of hurt a little bit. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo had four interceptions, but one of the well, one of those interceptions were 110% his fault. On the first drive, uh, a couple weeks ago, we had the episode. On the first drive, we try a low ball pass. It ends up going outside towards the corner as an inaccurate pass goes right into the corner's hands he takes it in for a touchdown and we're down by two scores immediately um that really hurt and then the next drive i believe we weren't able to go anywhere so um ended up you know being a tough situation especially against a good user uh we never really had a shot at this game after that um they scored once again after we punted um went up three scores and against a user like this it, it's pretty hard to come back uh, dalvin cook had 11 yards per carry had a touchdown monster had 10 yards of carry uh, but we weren't really able to use him much and then george Kittle had a pretty good game uh justin jefferson had a solid game and then monster was used out of the backfield a lot when it came he, he pretty much played deep zones and forced me to throw underneath all game and which we did we obliged and it didn't really work out uh as we get a loss there, but we bounced back against the Chicago Bears, another solid user, uh, where Jimmy Garoppolo actually had a decent game. Uh, we had 342 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. And then you take a look at the running backs, uh, Ty Chandler, 129 yards, three touchdowns, so he had a huge game. Uh, Tariq Cohen wasn't really able to get loose, and then George Kittle had an amazing game with 172 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Anthony Miller had an okay game, uh, but George Kittle uh, definitely showed out in this game. Uh, probably the MVP of this game. Uh, maybe even Ty Chandler, who had the three touchdowns. I mean, finding end zone three times is huge. So we get a win there. So at this point, we are. Um, I would say we're. We're. Eight, uh, no, we're probably. Oh, let's, let's 
let's go back two two uh three and uh two and three three and three then we drop to three and seven four and seven five and seven six and seven six and eight seven and eight and then uh we lose the last game to be seven and nine so our true record is seven and nine but the game will show eight and eight so uh, because of that that one week with um the one week one week with the jack uh, you take a look at the last game of the season uh, we just that episode is going to drop a few uh, a few moments before this episode drops uh, 97.9 pass rating pass rating from Jimmy Garoppolo two touchdowns four interceptions 263 yards uh, big interception before before half to uh, swing momentum into the Arizona Cardinals favor and then they never looked back after that uh, big fumble and then you know you'll see in the episode a big fumble and then the game was pretty much out of hand uh ty chandler had 61 yards had 10 yards of carry and then monster had 21 yards of carry uh, but we ended up getting behind way too quick and we weren't able to run the ball anymore after that uh george kittle had a uh, 158 yards and two touchdowns Ricky sales jones also had a good game uh good game from the tight ends and uh, good games from the running backs pretty much uh, as Naheem Hines had the two touchdowns as well. Um, and that's pretty much the end of our season there when it comes to the uh, head-to-head. As you can see, it's going to say 8-8 eight and eight on the season for us, but we were 7-9. and nine, uh, So we were pretty much, I think we might have been in third place. Uh, no, we would have we would have been in second at seven and nine, and then the Cardinals in, at six and ten. So we would have ended up in second place, uh, which is not bad after taking a long break from Madden. I think the last time I played was season three in last cycle. So uh, I've been out of Madden for about six months, and these guys have been playing Madden nonstop. Um, they've been playing through season four, season five, season one. And now in season two, they <laughs> they've been playing enough. Uh, let's take a look at the stats uh, from our team last year. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, 4,000 yards passing. He had 28 touchdowns and 56 interceptions. So uh, come next season, um, I don't know. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be around. He has a strong cap hit. We'll talk about that in a second. He probably won't be around, but Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, 56 interceptions. That's better change. Uh, then we take a look at the Russian Ty Chandler with uh, 1,182 yards and 17 touchdowns, and then uh, Monster had 5.8 yards to carry. Uh, Monster might not be around next season as well. Ty Chandler might be the feature back come next season, as he was most of the season this season. Uh, you take a look at the receiving. Uh, George Kittle uh, was injured for a little bit, but he was um, close to being our leading receiver. He had seven touchdowns tied for the team lead, uh, 747 yards. Uh, team lead was Debo Samuel, 837. And then receptions goes to uh, John Bay Johnson with 44. So um, John Bay Johnson had a solid season, 804 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, ended up getting injured towards the end of the season, so that did not help him. Um, then we take a look at his defense, uh, Fred Warner was the main guy again up there in tackles, uh, and then for sacks we got Nick Bosa who had 12, he had a solid season, Randy Gregory also had a good season for us, playing in that, um, that nickel set uh, as a Russian, uh, rushing end for us, he had a solid season, and then you take a look at interceptions, uh, Tavares Moore had the most with 9, he was all over the field, especially in a couple of those games. Uh, touchdowns, we had two on the season, James Wiggins and Fred Warner. And yeah, a solid season from the defense. Um, and not really a solid season from Jimmy Garoppolo. That's probably the main story. We were able to run the ball, um, but passing the ball was a issue, especially turning the ball over. Um, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I just wanted to go over a season review. Um, actually, let me, uh, let me go over the year yearly awards and see if we got anybody on the San Francisco 49ers who are in the running. As you can see, MVP, we're not going to have anybody. Uh, I don't think we'll have anybody for coach of the year. Uh, let's go to the NFC. Uh, you take a look at offensive player of the year. We don't have anybody there. Defensive player of the year. Nobody once again, but rookie of the year. Here we go. We got Ty Chandler 
who's number one rookie of the year for the NFC thus far. Second is Justin Fields, so that would be huge for us. We'll get some uh, tribute roles. Uh, I don't know exactly what you get for uh, offensive rookie of the year, but we could get something from that. Uh, then you take a look at defensive rookie of the year, and Caleb Farley came, uh, came in 10th. Um, looks like he's not going to get that. The Vikings rookie is probably going to get that there. Uh, best QB, we know we're not <laughs> we actually see Jimmy Garoppolo. I was going to say we're not going to see Jimmy Garoppolo, but we do uh, with his 8-8 eight eight record at number 10, which is a huge surprise. Uh, Russell Wilson could have been there. I mean, Kyler Murray's not on the list. I think we're the only NFC West quarterback on the list, which is a surprise. Uh, then you take a look at the best running back, and we got Ty Chandler on the list at 10. Uh, this is strictly just the NFC, so uh, we got no wide receivers. Offensive lineman, uh, we got Trent Williams who made the list at eight, uh, but he's not gonna win that. Defensive lineman, Nick Post is in second. Um, I don't know how this works. I don't know if this is set that Fletcher Cox is gonna win, but Nick Post is in second. And then we got Randy Gregory who made the list at eight, so that's a surprise. Uh, linebackers, we're not gonna have anybody there. Not a lot of turnovers for my linebackers. And then defensive backs, we take a look. Tavares Moore made the list who had a uh, a buttload of interceptions on the season, so a great, a great season from him, especially being a guy that was probably going to be a depth piece. He ended up, ends up being a starter. He ends up getting a lot of interceptions for us. But that's pretty much going to do it here for us. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, that's our season review. Hopefully next seasons uh, we fare better. Uh, next season it's sort of eight and eight, maybe go uh, ten and six or nine and seven. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how, who we have to play and we'll see how our offense develops uh, come next season because that's going to be the key and also uh, want to build on that defense to so make it more of a shutdown defense because as you you'll see in some, most of the games if you go back and watch uh, offenses where offenses move downfield pretty easily against us and we definitely want to change that uh but that's going to do it for us in this season review hope you enjoy it um hope you're liking the content please like subscribe all that good stuff my name is, is nefarious and i am